Hello and welcome to this course on uh, LDPC and polar codes in 5G. Most of us use uh, cellular phones and smartphones. Uh, maybe many of us are using 4G cellular phones, the fourth generation technology. Uh, maybe some of us are use, still using 3G cell phones, uh, third generation technology. Uh, I'm sure most of you are aware that currently everybody is thinking or at least the industry and researchers are thinking about the next generation, the fifth generation. What will 5G be? Okay. A significant part of the 5G telecommunication standard has been finalized and in particular the error control codes that will be used in the 5G telecommunication standard are today finalized. There are two types of codes that are going to be used. One is what is called a low density parity check code or in short an LDPC code. The other is a polar code. Okay. Now these two codes have very different and interesting histories and they are very celebrated and famous codes today. Both of them have capacity approaching properties which make them very strong contenders for providing uh, the ultimate performance that everybody needs in the 5G communication system. Now what will this course be? This course is focused on only the coding methods in 5G, in particular the LDPC codes and the polar codes in 5G. So we will assume some background from the learners. Uh, we will assume a basic familiarity with digital communications, a basic familiarity with probability, uh, distributions, calculations, etc. And also very importantly, a basic familiarity in programming in some language. Now this language could be C or Python or Java or even MATLAB, but you need to be able to write programs in this language. So uh, the reason is the code, the course is going to be focused on implementation aspects as well. Okay. So what will be in the course? In the first week, we will talk about error control codes, what they are, how to encode, how to decode them. And we will start introducing elements of low density parity check codes even in the first week. And in the second week, we will build encoders and decoders for the LDPC codes in the 5G standard. Okay, maybe a smaller example from the standard, but nevertheless, we will build encoders and decoders for it. And the third and fourth weeks are going to be devoted to polar codes. And once again, like I said, the outcome of this course in the third and fourth week will be a working encoder and decoder for a polar code in the 5G standard. So that's what you will be building. Uh, now, of course, there are several levels of sophistications in the decoder. You can build a very, very complicated decoder, which works fantastically well, or you can build a very simple decoder, which maybe not, uh, maybe does not have great performance. So we will take some sort of a middle of the road approach. We will build a good decoder, which will have reasonably good performance. And at the same time, it's easy for us to do within a four week period. So this whole course is only for four weeks. So we won't spend a lot of time on perfecting the decoder, particularly in the polar case. There are lots of uh, bells and whistles, lot of small tricks you can use to make the decoder better and better. Maybe we won't focus on all of them. Nevertheless, we will do a competent enough implementation. We will definitely do something called a successive cancellation decoder for polar codes. We will also do a list version of it, uh, but maybe not more sophisticated versions than that. Okay, but as far as LDPC codes is concerned, we will pretty much do a decoder which is on the cutting edge, which is going to be probably implemented by a lot of people. Okay, so that's the brief introduction to this course. I hope you enjoy learning in this course and I hope you go out having built encoders and decoders for the codes in the 5G cellular standard. Welcome and have fun. Thank you.